Hi, everyone. My name is Joe Grasso, and thanks for tuning in to hear more about how NIST's Public Safety Communications Research Division is working to bring cutting edge technologies to the public safety community. I'm excited to come to you today as part of the INSPIRE conference and want to thank our hosts at the National Association for Public Safety, GIS, for inviting me to participate. Depending on your familiarity with NAPSIG and with NIST and the order in which you're watching the videos today, you may have already heard about the work that Kevin Kay and the team at NABSIG, along with a panel of expert stakeholders, has been doing as part of the iAccess project. Uh, that project in the associated best practices guide is a result of uh, the latest cooperative agreement between NIST and NABSIG. And I just want to encourage you to, to hear more about that in Kevin's presentation. What I'd like to do here, though, is to talk about uh, where that cooperative agreement came from and what else PSCR is up to. So first, a quick overview. What is PSCR? Well, PSCR is the primary federal laboratory conducting research, development, testing, and evaluation for public safety communications technologies. We're part of the Communications Technology Laboratory, which is part of the National Institute of Standards and Technology, and NIST falls under the Department of Commerce. Oftentimes, PSCR is talked about at the same time that FirstNet gets talked about. Uh, so let me extend this work chart and point out that we're actually closely related. FirstNet, the authority, is also part of the Department of Commerce, but it falls underneath the National Telecommunications and Information Administration. We have slightly different missions, but we support each other in working towards the common goal of improving communications for public safety. And now just a, a bit of history. Uh, the Middle Class Tax Relief and Job Creation Act of 2012 is the piece of legislation that gave FirstNet its start. It also set aside $300 million for NIST to perform R&D to ensure the success of FirstNet and so that public safety could take full advantage of what FirstNet has to offer. PSCR focuses on developing technologies that might still be years from the marketplace. And there's uh, plenty of research and development dollars being spent on smartphones and smartwatches and other consumer items. PSCR is here to make sure that similar kinds of R&D is being done for public safety. Early on, PSCR undertook a road mapping process by engaging with public safety stakeholders to determine what areas to invest in to create the biggest impact for public safety. Seven research areas were identified, and one of those was location-based services. So the location-based services portfolio aims to advance this research area, and after some further refinement, PSCR identified three areas in which to invest, indoor tracking, mapping, and navigation. And we're making investments in those areas in three different ways, internal research, external research, and prize challenges. So let me go into some more detail uh, on each of these. And I'm gonna start with a bit of external research. And a little background before getting into the details there, but accurate indoor localization technology, it could really be a game changer for public safety. It could aid in situational awareness. It could be used for firefighter accountability and it has the potential to save lives and really improve response. However, the, uh, the primary localization technology being used today, GPS and similar systems, they don't work indoors. And systems that can work indoors often require that a building be equipped with dedicated infrastructure, such as beacons or Wi-Fi access points. And that's just not going to work for public safety. So we need a system that can be infrastructure free. To help get us there, PSCR is teamed with researchers from around the country and around the world to create infrastructure free indoor localization systems. It's a very challenging problem and PSCR is investing in numerous different avenues to develop systems that can really address this pressing need. Pictured here are images from cooperative agreements that PSCR has with five different universities. The University of Michigan is working on a system that utilizes a low cost active reflector to do the localization. Carnegie Mellon University is experimenting with ultra wide band ranging systems. Oxford University is using infrared cameras to aid with localization. MIT is approaching the problem in several different ways, including making use of signals from commercial cell phones. And the University of California, Irvine, is also investigating several different methods, including inertial navigation, using signals of opportunity, such as cell signals, and cooperative ranging, where one's position estimate can be improved using location information from other nearby personnel. Now to help researchers like the ones at these universities, the LBS portfolio is investing in internal work 
at PSCR to develop a low-cost localization uh, measurement system, a ground truth system. So when research teams develop indoor localization technology, they, they need some way to test how well it's going to work or how well it's working. Instead of each group coming up with their own way to test their systems, uh, it could be helpful to have an established method. So engineers at PSCR are building a system that will use QR style barcodes called April tags in surveyed locations to allow a smartphone to determine its position based upon the April tags that are visible through the smartphone camera. This work is based upon open source uh, software out of the University of Michigan. And, and with this, we hope to develop a low cost, uh, easily accessible system that will be a real asset for indoor localization research. Another area that is a focus of internal research for the LBS portfolio involves what we call the, the future of pre-incident planning. And the future that we envision involves technology that many GIS practitioners will be familiar with, uh, mobile LIDAR scanning systems. Systems like the one pictured here can rapidly create 3D models of indoor environments by collecting ranging information using a rapidly spinning array of lasers. Uh, this data can be represented as point clouds, and these point clouds can be used to create accurate 2D floor plans and 3D models. Uh, equip these systems rate 360 degree cameras, and with an appropriately trained AI algorithm, these systems could be used to automatically highlight public safety items of interest. All these things combined could significantly speed up and improve the pre-incident planning process, and they have the potential to enable things like VR training, virtual walkthroughs, and visualization systems for indoor tracking. To further develop this idea, PSCR has teamed up with three different groups in what we call our Point Cloud City Cooperative Agreements. The participants in Point Cloud City are collecting 3D scans of buildings and, and labeling public safety relevant features to help train AI systems to be able to identify those features. Lots more information about Point Cloud City is available in another video in this on-demand session, so I encourage you to check that out. So far, I've covered internal research and external research, but I also want to mention an upcoming prize challenge that will hopefully motivate even more development in the area of indoor localization systems. Activities are underway to create the First Responder 3D Localization Prize Challenge, or FR3D for short. FR3D will offer cash prizes to qualifying teams to drive indoor localization technology towards the goal of having one meter or better accuracy under various conditions. Prize challenges like this a crowdsource innovation, and hopefully we'll get the brightest minds working on this very challenging problem. And lastly, I'd like to invite you to join PSCR at our Digital Experience Stakeholder Meeting this June. This annual stakeholder meeting is an opportunity for PSCR to receive direct input, uh, guidance, and, and feedback from the diverse public safety community. And that community includes many of you watching this webinar today. Like last year, this year's meeting will be hosted online and it's free to attend. Attendees can learn about research advancements from the past year and have an opportunity to interact with researchers in real time. Uh, there will be live plenary sessions uh, from public safety leaders each morning. There's going to be on-demand sessions that let you choose the content that interests you. We'll have some live Q&A sessions as well and live and on-demand technology demonstrations. So if you're interested, you can find out more about the stakeholder meeting and everything else I've talked about so far in this presentation by visiting our webpage at pscr.gov. Sign up for a mailing list to stay up to date with all the latest PSCR activities. If you've made it this far, I just want to say thanks for watching and feel free to reach out if you have any questions. I've got my email up on the screen now. Thanks again.